One of the biggest deceptions going on in the Christian environment today is the so-called experience of the Holy Spirit. In my older years, I have now come to understand the true depths, or at least should I say I am beginning to understand the true depths of the word holy. Holy implies a sense of order. Holy dictates that everyone hold their composure. Holiness is not erratic. Holiness is a divine attribute. It's a formal way of looking at things the way they should be. So if you have the Holy Spirit or if you even suggest that you have the Holy Spirit, it is not a joke. It is not something casual. You are pretty much claiming that you are God. Almost. If you are a Christian, you understand exactly what I am talking about. If you have the Spirit of God in you, don't you have God in you? Are you not God? So if you were what you claim to be, why are the fruits that you produce not consistent with what you say you are? If the Holy Spirit was really there on Sunday when you went to church, why are the fruits that follow not consistent? Is it possible that someone could have deceived you and labeled something which was not the Holy Spirit as the Holy Spirit? Is it possible that for thousands of years, men have had no idea what the Holy Spirit is? At what point did deception find its way into the Christian world? In the Christian world, in order to be right, everybody else has to be wrong. There is no way that everyone can be right. So if you are sure that what you believe about God, what you believe about Jesus is true, then anyone who doesn't believe like you is wrong. And yet, you are not producing any fruits that are any more holy than the fruits that those other people are producing. Matter of fact, a Christian cannot claim to be more kind than a Muslim is. It really just depends on the circumstances. There are circumstances when a Muslim would display a more in-depth fruit of kindness, which is one of the fruits of the Spirit now, than a Christian. There is times that a Christian will hate even worse than a Muslim or than a Buddhist. If we claim to have found a solution, why are we still suffering from the same problem that everybody else is suffering from? It is time to consider that you might have been misled. No matter how good the intentions of whoever misled you was, and what you believe to be God, who you believe to be God, the spirit that you believe to be the spirit of God is just a manipulation of, of music, words, and a well-choreographed Sunday service to make you believe that something is what it is not. And unless you are broken out of that deception, how do you expect to ever even experience the real thing? 